In today's video, we're going over five reasons why you should buy the Fitbit Versa Lite. Hey guys, so thanks for watching. If this is your first time checking out one of our videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and turn on post notifications so you can be alerted every time we post new videos. Let's jump right in to five reasons why you should buy the Fitbit Versa Lite. Now, the first thing, um, that, just to give you some context of this video, I'm coming from using the Fitbit Charge 3. So, Fitbit Charge 3, really great device. Um, I basically upgraded from using the uh, Fitbit Alta. So, I went from kind of the bigger screen. So, just to show you, this is the last Fitbit that I had. So, it is a black and white display. Um, there really are no apps and um, it's just very limited in what it can do. So I was curious about the new Fitbits that had a uh, color screen because I was just curious, like, can you really do more and is it really a different experience using one of these versus one of the older Fitbits? Obviously you get all the same functionalities of the app and the community, but like what features am I really getting that I wouldn't have on the Charge 3? So, um, Anyway, that's just sort of some context before we get started. So the first reason why I think this is a great purchase for you is it is a, a much larger screen, again, than even the Fitbit Charge 3. It is a color screen. Um, the screen is very responsive and you get a lot more in terms of what you can do. Um, the selections are really opened up and you have a lot more things you can track. You also have music controls as well. So you can actually control music. You could basically link up the Fitbit to your phone and then you could link up Bluetooth headphones to your phone and you can use the Fitbit to keep track of your music or basically control, pause, play, volume, all that good stuff. So those are things you can't do on the Charge 3. So that big screen, it's not just big and beautiful, but it's just, it is a lot more functionality than the previous generations of Fitbits. Now the next reason is gonna be the cool watch faces that you have uh, access to. So there is a store where you've got a really big selection of, of different watch faces that you can download and there are a lot that are free and there are a lot that are paid for as well. Um, this particular face right here was a paid for watch face and um, I basically pay, I think, $5 and you get six different watch faces. Um, and the reason I like this one just because um, it basically keeps track of the day. So the top line just shows you like where you are in the day. If the day is almost over, then it's closer to the end. The bottom keeps track of how close you are to your step goal. So I clearly did not do well with steps today because I only have 1,500 steps. Um, but it does still have that little heart rate down at the bottom, so I'm able to keep track of if my heart rate does spike. And um, this is just one of many. I mean, there are hundreds and hundreds of watch faces, and there's so many cool ones that I have to be careful because I don't want to spend a ton of money buying watch faces. But um, there are a lot to choose from, and I think that's one of the things I'm, um, I'm really excited about with this because before this, it seems like Apple was sort of the best when it came to watch faces and having you know such a large selection and then Samsung is next and they have a bunch and now Fitbit is really catching up and like there's so many cool options to really make this device unique to you. So that'd be my second reason, just lots of watch faces. Um, a considerable amount of them are paid for. Um, this is sort of like a, in my explaining a reason to buy it, I'm going to give you just some real facts along the way. And the real facts are when you go through the store to look for watch faces, um, when you're just looking at the designs, it really doesn't tell you what's paid for and what's free. You don't find out until you select the app or you, excuse me, you select the watch face and then you'll see a little uh, kind of a pop up that says, this app may contain purchases, which basically tells you that the watch face is not free. So um, that was the only part that was a little frustrating initially is I didn't realize um, that there'd be so many you have to pay for and that it doesn't just jump out at you. Oh, this is, you know, a paid for one. This is a free one. Um, so that takes a little getting used to, but uh, once you kind of know what to look for with that, then um, you're okay. 
and you may decide to pay for some because there are some really cool ones that are paid for. So anyway, uh, we'll move on to the next point. So um, the next uh, reason to buy this is the app support. So there are there's a considerable amount of apps that are available on the Fitbit Versa and Versa Lite. Um, and they have a lot of the mainstream apps, which is what I'm really happy to see. So your Starbucks, your Uber, your Lyft, your Spotify, uh, you know, things like that um, have support. They have their own app. So um, it definitely makes it easier because you don't feel like you're losing when you, if, if you were considering to go from an Apple Watch to a Fitbit and you're used to using all of the apps, you know, in the past you really were losing because there was a very limited selection of apps. But now that the app store is much larger, um, you do have a lot more options in terms of apps you can download. And just to show you, when you download an app, um, they just show up right next to the watch face. So this is the watch face, you just swipe left. And this is where you can see the different apps that have been downloaded. So like I have E-Trade, I can use this to keep track of, you know, stocks that I follow, calculator, timers, a counter, Starbucks app right here. I have an app for intermittent fasting. I have a cool app right here that will help find my phone. If I can't find it, I can just ping the phone right from my watch. So um, I'm loving it. I mean, there's so many apps that I want to try out and I'm just taking it kind of one at a time. So. It's definitely a reason I would say to consider buying um, the new Fitbit Versa or Versa Lite. Now the next reason, this is um, a reason that's going to be important for the fitness junkies out there. So I have found that the heart rate monitor, uh, just this is just in my own personal testing, the heart rate monitor is a lot more accurate than the heart rate monitor on the Fitbit Charge 3. There were certain activities I used to do that it just seems like the charge three would never register properly but on here um the heart rates are a lot closer to what i know they should be for example if i'm you know extremely out of breath like the heart rate should be pretty high but there's times on my older you know fitbit where it would say that it's very low even though i'm extremely out of breath so um i have noticed that just in general, the monitor, heart rate monitor, is just a lot more accurate and uh, it does keep up better than my previous Charge 3. The fifth reason and last reason is going to be the price. So um, the Fitbit versions do start at the $149 price range. That's for the, the light version. It does go up from there depending on if you want to have the capability to um, pay for things with your Fitbit you can actually get the special edition version that does have um, the payment system built in where you can just pay right with your your watch I didn't really care about that so I just went down to the basic model because it had all the things that I cared about which is if you're really only caring about the fitness aspect and not the other big bells and whistles I would say the Versa light is just fine um, I will have a link in the description below where you can, you know, pick up a Versa Lite if you're thinking about getting one. Um, but basically, um, the retail price is $149, and they're always on sale. I, I, I check frequently just to see about the pricing, and you know, I've seen them for $129, and sometimes as low as, you know, $109. You know, if you're willing to buy one off of eBay, and sometimes they have some that are not with a box. Um, you can get them pretty inexpensive as well. So if you're thinking about getting one, I would definitely tell you to do your research because uh, if you just want to pay the retail price $149, walk into Best Buy or buy it on Fitbit.com. But if you want a deal, I would say work eBay, work Amazon. You'd be surprised you'll find them for less. Um, so those are the five reasons why I would say this is definitely worth getting. Um, the one thing I would say, so I still have one reason of why you shouldn't get it, uh, or something just to consider, and that is the screen. Um, it's a little hard to see in from this angle, but this I've actually scratched the screen already, um, kind of along the edges here. And so my only disclaimer to you is they do sell screen guards. They sell little clear screen guards you can put over the screen to protect it. I should have purchased one and I didn't. And so uh, as a result, mine did scratch. So I would just say to be careful. I don't know what type of Gorilla Glass 
the screen uses. I didn't, I didn't research it beforehand, but um, I feel as though I've been pretty gentle with it and it's still scratched. So I would just say to keep that in mind and I would say make the extra investment and get that piece to go over the screen so that you don't have to go through the hassle of your scratching. So anyway, guys, uh, leave me a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. If any of these are helpful in, in you making your decision, hit that like button if you found the video helpful. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. Thanks again for watching. Take care and have a good one.